beautiful people welcome back to another exciting vlog uh, if you just passed by my name is Gladys kindly consider joining the squad by subscribing uh, if you're going to like this video already give it a like and don't forget to watch until the end so that you comment down below what you think about this video I'm on my way to one of the biggest fish markets we do have in Kampala generally Uganda I should say because most of the fish types are sold at the landing site but this market it has the it, it's the biggest where all the wholesalers the restaurants come and pick fish it has all types of fish guys it has tilapia and nile punch i don't know if it has silver fish we're going to find out so come along with me so that we see all that we see what happens and what i know about this place it's so busy it's such a busy place morning afternoon evening it's always busy let's go and find out whether it's going to be busy as well right now i'm heading right there and i want to give you a view of the road if you're coming or you want to go get some from there you know where you go guys do you like my pins hmm, i am black they are gifted to me by my friend um thank you so much darling this is a shout out to you comment down below what you think about my hair and the look guys okay where we are heading to uh their fish is always so fresh for that i'm sure but you know that of recent this place it's called busega market it was right one of the smelling places in uganda not because there's uh, their hygiene is not good but because of the fish that are there there are many there is tilapia nail punch catfish silver fish name it so fish uh fish eaters this video is for you um let's go and see the prices i don't know how they sell them because fish has been one of the most expensive food stuff here in uganda for those ones who love seafoods busega is for you come along keep watching and oh and if you're heading there in case you own a car no parking for the clients be aware and it's not only for the fish market it's a huge huge market with all food stuff vegetables name it but specifically we are going to where the fish is sold guys and according to what i've been hearing ugandans are not so pleased the fact that the fish prices are so high and also they sell them off to the outside countries um, exporting them so it limits Uganda to be getting fish more so the big ones so i think let's go and find out and we see the kind of fish sold in our country uh, let's keep moving guys papyruses and flowers sold along the roadside make the place look so beautiful what do you think about it guys if you're a flower lover and you want to get some flowers always come back pick some i mean buy some for yourself go take them home make your home look so beautiful i really love it that people are loving flowers guys side of the road joins to the express where you can head to the airport so guys hope you're seeing how Sega looks like so beautiful and busy Around the area, there are other businesses that are happening. an icy van that protects the fish or prevents them from getting spoiled <laughs> 
Kati omutu nda mmeka? Eh. So guys, this ice is known for free. It's sold and the starter price it's usually 2000 and above. The tilapia. Yeah? Okay. So guys, what you're seeing here, it's tilapia. We are going to find out how much it costs. Oh. Okay. Hey, okay. mm, how much is this one? one oh. yeah. oh. Like this one here. Oh. Mm. 15,000. Eh? Then the smaller one? 18. How? Oh. Hey. Kanokanana. Kanokanana. Hey. Eh? So, guys, this. So, guys, this size goes for 8,000. But they are all fresh. Is it the same price? Oh, sorry. Ah. So for the bigger one, this one goes for 20,000. Ah, so guys, this is the catfish. Wow, this one is too big. Like this one. Wow. This one is same catfish. Mm. Another one. Wow. From Lake Victoria. From Lake Victoria. Oh, Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Customer, Katia, how much tonda anga sente? Me, how much tonda mu kilos? Over much tonda chidamba boy chito. Katia, how much tonda ne chidamba chito? Katia, how much tonda chidamba boy chito? Chigena kusente me. Fifty dollars, guys. So you say this is mad fish? Okay. Fish. Mad fish. Mad fish. Mad fish. Okay. So squad, hope you're still watching and I yes <laughs> and I told you already there are various types of fish here. So far we have seen a few guys and surprisingly there are more that we are going to be seeing. Not only the fresh one, even the smoked one. Hope you're still watching so that you don't miss out any. So I'm with an elder here and he's going to be telling me some of the challenges they do face here in the market. So guys, they are finding a problem of climate change when it's sunny, they happen not to get a fish and more so when it's also raining a lot, they fail to get the fish from the source uh, from Lake Victoria. Buzibu chobla la we msanga ngamwe abana nyanja. Yogeza kutubozi. Bwa mafuta. Okay. Eh. So guys, <laughs> hope you're still enjoying my vlogs, guys. Katia, 
kati madde manyi mwete muli abye muli anyama ndala engeri je mbera mu mu byenyanja bino biba byabatama eh okay. so guys i was asking him since they are the sellers they are, they got uh, fond of them and uh, they no longer want to eat fish maybe would be eating meat but i'm so surprised seeing him eating fish and he was telling me fish is one of the most delicious seafood you can ever taste Kati, yeah, Mike. Yeah, he's called Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike, nice meeting you. Kati, abatunde bien yanja nge mele yide, eswani ye banga kusente meka. Eswani ba ya mutualo. Yeah, eswani ye mele. Eswani ye mele ya mutualo ngele kete nyanja. Guys, he said that this plate goes for 10,000. Unbelievable. Because, uh, anyway, it's possible since the fish is so scarce, but I was thinking maybe since those people get it from here, it's going to be a bit cheaper, but it's so unfortunate, but it's expensive. behind me those are some of the smoked fish i'm going to show you some of them and how they are smoked here guys i told you in this market they have various type of fish and even different ways of preserving them so in case you want a salted one i'm going to find out if they have it and as well if you want a smoked one still they are here guys they are looking so yummy already i wish i could eat fish one time i'll tell you a story why i really don't eat fish but the way i've seen fish here i feel like i should test it i'm missing out guys so come along with me and we find out <laughs> Smoking, <laughs> 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 Tilapia, right? No. Hey. Your nail punch. Yes, he has nail punch. Then where is tilapia? That's tilapia. So guys, that's tilapia. Hmm. Semtun is the catfish, guys. That's how it looks like. Yeah, his fish are so nice. Kati otunda nga sente meka. Kati chino chevi chitundu. Hmm. Chino chevi di. Hmm. Then chino chevi ila chesatu. Hmm. Nevi ya chitundu. Hmm. Kati wa one size ito nukwe si yomu kwa alo. Hmm. Then tu wa one size wete yoku mwe chitundu. Yoku mwe chitundu. Okay guys, I'm going to be putting down some of the prices so that you get to know. In case you're interested, please kindly come and support him. So guys, he's called Mr. Steven in Kuluche. If you want those ones for the restaurant, you want to sell them off somewhere, you can come and support him. I've moved around the market. I've seen various pieces that are sold in this market. Surprisingly, I never saw silver fish, meaning you can have it outside the market. And all these kind of fish are all caught from Lake Victoria. If you don't get them from the landing sites, you will come here, have them. The prices are mm, negotiable, I can say. Come and evidence it yourself. But on my remark, it's true. Fish is at a high cost. They are really expensive. But yet we fish them from here. So guys, I've met another colleague. What's your name? David. David. He's called Mr. David. Ah, uh, Mr. David. Oh, like he's a bella come video. Kati saba kubu za kukwembe nyanja mno. Tunda vidi wow. This is the color. It's different. Because of the situation that is happening in Uganda, students are going back to school, so the business is not moving quite well. Business. 
Guys, this is called Semutunda. I'm going to find out its English name. Semutunda Yakabina, it means a fish with a big bam bam. That is delicious for the people. People like it a lot. Guys, this fish looks so yummy. I've seen most of them and I've asked them about their challenges. Now I want to also ask about their achievements, guys, because in every business, you sticking there, it means you're getting something from it. Being to your sons, there is so much. You're when you make a so he's getting an income from it and he's totally proud of it. <laughs> yes, he looking, he's looking so handsome. <laughs> so he also enjoys them and takes them to his family and they consume them. <laughs> This way before myself. Comment down below what you think, and if you have watched this video, you have started something or you have done something, give it a like. Uh, don't forget to come support them from this money. They pay for their kids' school fees, they do something out of it. I love you. Let's meet again. Bye bye. And your worth, just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself first. At the beginning of the video, we saw some nail punch. Those are the medium one. Now we are looking at the mature one. Guys, it's damn big. The most expensive part of a mature nail punch, it's, it's swim bladder. Uh, locally, we call it here a non. And for a kg or one kilo, it goes for 400,000. Imagine how expensive it is. And I have heard a lot of stories about it that it's exported to countries like China, America. Comment down below if you think it's true. And I'm seeing it for the very first time. So he's going to weigh it to see how much it weighs. 